Hello again, everyone out in YouTube land. Uh, this is basically a uh, the third part of the three-part video. This is going to show the uh, the whole digital section of the amplifier, how you can manipulate it using your computer, uh, what's needed in order for this. First, I'm going to start off with the pedal that you have to have. Uh, this is the Line 6 Mark II short board. It is only one with the USB plug. And you have to have that to access the digital section of the amplifier. The 2 amp is basically an Ethernet cable. Line 6 one says do not use any other cable than the cable that comes with the pedal. Mine came with the cable. Uh, but you can use an Ethernet cord. I've used an Ethernet cord before and it works fine. You also have an expression pedal input. Uh, yeah, it has a built-in expression pedal, but it's for volume and wall. But just in case you're wanting to do wall and, and pitch shifting and stuff like that, you'll have both. So this is mainly a volume and wall pedal, but it can be used for all the other things that are built into it. It's basically like the uh, pod pedals, but instead of everything being built into the pedal, it's in the amplifier. So now let's get down to the meat and potatoes of this actual video, and that is the digital section and manipulating it with your computer. You will need, like I said, the Mark II short board, a USB cable. I believe that's a Firewire connection. That's what I've been told. That's what I've read. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Uh, and then just a regular USB into uh, your computer. Now, first thing that has to be done is you have to turn on the amp, of course. Turning this on turns on the digital section and starts warming up the tubes. The standby section does nothing but start sending a signal through your power tubes and starts amplifying and gives you sound. Uh, as I've mentioned in the other videos, there are three effects three effect sections that can be used simultaneously along with a reverb. Uh, so we take this and we plug it into the uh, where it says USB and then can't I need you to look at this so as I plug this in they'll be able to see. You can see it says 01D Hellraiser Well, when I go to plug it in, it goes over to USB mode. It says channel 1, CC7. I'm not exactly sure what that is. And value 0. That's because the pedal is at 0. If you bring it up, it'll go to 127. That's giving you the value of the potentiometer or whatever type of mechanism they're using for the sweep of the pedal. And now, everything is over at the computer. So, we need to move to the computer. Once you have everything on, and you have it plugged in, remember, have it plug in, always have it plugged in before you open this, because if you plug it in after opening it, it won't work correctly. Uh when you open it it will automatically start receiving the presets the first 16 are uh, from the factory presets the last 16 banks are defaults and you can actually see them starting at 17 A's default 1 2 3 and 4 18 A 1 2 3 and 4 all the way up to 32 and then all the other ones basically 
what you have. Uh, you have the same knob to select the amp models, the drive, which is the gain, your EQ section, which is the bass, the mid, and the treble, the channel volume, and the boost section. The left side is, from what I've been told and read, uh, it's the preamp boost, and the right side is the power amp boost. Uh, and like I said, with each effect, you have three. Uh, you it, the first one mainly has uh, uh, stomp boxes, uh, compressors, uh, a boost EQ. The boost EQ or uh, any type of equalizer is best used post the EQ. And that's another cool thing about this: every effect can be used pre the preamp or post the preamp. And it ha even the uh, volume pedal. You can do it pre or post preamp. Um, with the, I believe it, yeah, it's FX3. That's where the delays and everything are. You can control it with the tap button, or there's a time knob where you can say don't control and then use the time all the way up to 2,000 milliseconds for the analog delay. Let's try digital delay. Yeah, up to 2,000 milliseconds. I don't know exactly. I believe that's two seconds. Because a millisecond is one thousandth of a second. So I just have it set to tap so I can change it on the run. And like I said, every one can be set pre or post. Even the reverb, it can be set pre or post. And usually, how do you set things up? Usually pre. But this gives you... It basically gives you the option. There, There is a effect loop built into the digital section. And even with the amplifiers, you can each one has clean amber, clean blue. So basically A and B. And you have 16 all together. But that's basically it. You go through here. You select the amp you get it close to what you want and then you can go adding the effects that you want just by clicking on it it turns yellow there's just little dots to uh, get the the mechanical loop that comes out of the back of the amp you actually have to go up to the amplifier and the MIDI part you have to go up to the amplifier and set everything in but that's basically it when it comes to this. I've already done a tone. And I'm sorry if it didn't come out all that great. You have to remember I am using a, uh, a cell phone camera on a Note 3. But uh, that's it when it comes to this. And this is the final. If you have any questions, please ask whatever you would like below. So until next time, peace.